In a kidney failure patient, what is happening? Now the question arises why this is happening. Blood chemistry is disturbed. It may cause heart attack. Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video, I will tell you those food items that should be completely avoided by a kidney failure patient. In a kidney failure patient, what is happening? Because of non-functioning of kidney, lots of waste material is accumulating in the body like creatinine, urea, potassium, sodium and we have to take care of all this waste material because we have to maintain the chemistry of the blood. If the chemistry of the blood is okay, there is no complication. But there are few food items that can disturb the chemistry of the blood instantly. So we have to completely avoid those food items. So let's start with food item number one, and that is juices. If a kidney failure patient take one cup of apple, completely okay, the amount of potassium won't rise. But if the patient of kidney failure take one cup of apple juice, there is chances that the level of potassium will raise in the kidney failure patient. So in a kidney failure patient, we have to avoid all kinds of juices just to maintain the level of potassium in the body. Because potassium is a thing which is very good for the muscles. It gives power to the muscle if the level of the potassium is in the range. But when the level of the potassium increases above the 7, it can cause heart attack. It can produce muscle fatigue. So we have to avoid, so we have to maintain the level of potassium in a kidney failure patient. And for that purpose, we have to avoid all kind of juices in a kidney failure patient. Now let's move to item number two, and that is jaggery. Jaggery is also known as good. It is a concentrated form of sugarcane juice. So when a patient of kidney failure takes good or jaggery, what happens? the level of potassium increases. Now the question arises why this is happening. For that purpose, we have to understand the production of jaggery. For production of jaggery, we have to take sugarcane, then we extract out the its juice, then we concentrate this juice into the jaggery form. So when we take jaggery, it contains potassium of whole sugar canes. Because this jaggery contains potassium in high amount, it can cause complication in a kidney failure patient. That's why we have to avoid jaggery completely in all kidney failure patients. Now let's move to another food item and that is rooty and leafy vegetables. Rooty and leafy vegetable has to be avoided because they contains potassium in high amount. Any vegetable which is grown below the surface of earth contains potassium in high amount, but they are exception also. Exceptions are carrot, radish and onion. They contain potassium in low amount. Rest of the vegetables which are grown below the surface of earth like potato, sweet potato, turnip, beetroot, all these vegetables contain potassium in high amount. That's why we have to avoid all these vegetables. And leafy vegetables like spinach, mustard, coriander, mint also contains potassium in high amount. That's why all the kidney failure patients are advised to avoid all these vegetables. Now let's move to another food item that is salt. Almost all kidney failure patients suffer from very common symptom and that is high blood pressure and the salt is a major cause of high blood pressure. So in a kidney failure patient where we have to maintain the level of blood pressure, we take help of salt. We, if we avoid salt, the level of blood pressure can be easily maintained in a kidney failure patient. Also the level of sodium can be easily maintained if we take less, less amount of salt. So in a kidney failure patient, we have to take one pinch of salt and that salt should be Himalayan salt or rock salt so that the level of blood pressure can be easily maintained in a kidney failure patient. Now let's move to another food item and that is processed food, frozen food. Because in a kidney failure patient, blood chemistry is disturbed because of non-functioning of kidney. And when we take such a processed food, such high amount of processed food, what happens? Large amount of preservative, large amount of chemicals goes into our body, which causes disruption of the chemistry of the blood. So we have just to maintain the chemistry of the blood, just to maintain the level of potassium sodium in the blood, we have to avoid all kind of frozen food and pre-processed food so that the level of Potassium, sodium can be easily maintained in a kidney failure patient so that the patient of kidney failure doesn't suffer from any complication just because of these food items. Now let's move to another food item and that is protein. If a kidney failure patient take large amount of fish, chicken, mutton, eggs, dairy products, what happens? Large amount of protein goes into the body and this extra amount of protein gets converted into ketonin. So just to maintain the level of creatinine, we have to cut down the amount of protein intake in a kidney failure patient. So in a kidney failure patient, it is advised to take either low protein diet or protein free diet so that the level of creatinine can be easily maintained in a kidney failure patient. Because creatinine is a type of waste material produced by our muscle during muscle metabolism. So if a kidney failure patient take large amount of protein, 
the amount of creatinine will increase in the blood. So just to control the level of creatinine, we have to cut down the amount of protein intake. Now let's move to another food item and that is low sodium salt. In a kidney failure patient, where the patient is suffering from high blood pressure, some kidney failure patients use low sodium salt just to maintain the level of blood pressure. But they doesn't know this low sodium salt can be very dangerous for a kidney failure patient because in a low sodium salt, 15% potassium chloride has been added artificially. And because of this added potassium chloride, the level of potassium increases in a kidney failure patient because kidney is non-functioning, kidney is unable to filter out extra potassium from the blood so in a kidney failure patient when a patient take low sodium salt the level of potassium increases and it may cause heart attack so in a kidney failure patient just to avoid complication like heart attack we have to avoid all kind of low sodium salt i think with this video you have understand what kind of food has to be avoided in a kidney failure patient if you have any kind of question query regarding kidney failure you can call our doctors on the number we'll given below you can also book an appointment with me on the same number with this allow me to say goodbye see you in the next video till then bye bye